Welcome to this guide on paraphrasing. This short video will introduce you to the basics of effective paraphrasing and to some tips and tricks for integrating the technique into your own academic writing. Paraphrasing is the process of rewriting something you've read in your own words. It sounds fairly simple, so why and how do we do it? Paraphrasing allows you to integrate evidence into your academic writing, demonstrating that you understand both the source itself and how it fits into your overall argument. Effective paraphrasing also allows you to boost the credibility and academic rigour of your work by avoiding plagiarism. The easiest way of paraphrasing is to identify and replace key words with appropriate synonyms. Let's take a look at an example. Working through the quotation you'd like to paraphrase, identify any key words or terms that will be important to include in your paraphrased example. Once you've done these, find synonyms or alternative words that summarise these key terms throughout the phrase. There may be some similar terms within these that you can group together with a single word or phrase in your final paraphrase. Look out for any terms that will be difficult to replace in your paraphrased example. There may be key concepts or terms in your field that cannot be expressed in another way and it's fine to keep these in your final version. Remember, you may need to restructure your sentence in order for it to make grammatical sense once paraphrased. Paraphrasing also needs to make sense in the context of your writing, so always check that your paraphrased examples fit with the overall argument of the paragraph in which they are included. Paraphrasing also allows you to demonstrate your critical analysis skills. You are not simply summarising or describing the evidence, but showing how it relates to your own argument. Framing your evidence using reporting verbs allows you to communicate your stance to the reader. To do this, it's important to be precise in the language you use to frame your paraphrased examples. Let's take a look at an example of a paraphrased quotation and how it uses reporting verbs to frame evidence. As you can see from this example, the term suggests is what we might describe as a fairly neutral verb. It's possible to replace this with a weaker synonym. Weaker synonyms can be used when you wish to challenge or doubt a particular example. In this case, we might replace the word suggests with terms like alleges, guesses or speculates to show that we're not convinced by the evidence itself. In contrast, you may want to show that a particular piece of evidence strongly aligns with your own opinion or point of view. In this case, you might want to use a stronger synonym, a word like asserts or demonstrates, to really show that this quotation aligns with the argument you're constructing throughout your essay. Keep these alternatives in mind next time you construct a paraphrase. Framing evidence using these reporting verbs can really demonstrate your evaluation skills to the reader, as well as your own opinion on the evidence you've encountered. Paraphrasing is also an effective way of ensuring your academic writing is concise. Grouping several sources together to create a cluster of references allows you to summarise and reflect upon the findings of several journal articles at once. Grouping evidence in this way demonstrates that you are able to identify common themes and links across your reading and to synthesise these ideas in your own words. We can see that these three examples, taken from journal articles, share key similarities in terminology. This suggests that we could cluster them together into a single paraphrase. In order to do this, identify the key terms or definitions that are shared across all of your examples. Then, when you paraphrase, create a phrase or term that summarises those similarities in just a few words, as you can see here. Remember, for APA referencing, authors' names are listed alphabetically in the brackets that directly follow your paraphrase. To summarise, there are three key strategies that you can use to integrate paraphrasing into your academic writing. First, think about replacing key words and restructuring your sentences for grammatical sense. Next, use reporting verbs to frame evidence and communicate your stance to the reader. Finally, when paraphrasing, try to group evidence into clusters so that you can discuss multiple references at the same time. For more information and resources on paraphrasing, Check out the library web pages for referencing help. Alternatively, visit the Skills Centre website and consult our study skills collection in the libraries.